All right, hey, Gratuitous here from itsgratuitous.com. In this FL Studio tutorial, I'll be sharing how to link one knob or one slider to multiple parameters in FL Studio. Before getting into the video, if you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my free book called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple it becomes creative. Get it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. All right, so for this tutorial, I am using the M Audio Oxygen Pro 49. This is my daily driver MIDI keyboard. I really, really like it. I highly recommend it. If you're if you are interested, check out my review. I have on my website at itsgratuitous.com. All right. All right. So now in order to understand how to link one slider to multiple parameters, you have to understand about project links and global links. So when we link multiple parameters, um, you're going to be using the remove conflicts. OK, so if, let's just right click this again. Here's link to controller. This is what's called a project link. It is only for this particular project. And when we move a knob, you can see that it is orange, okay? Um, if I right click and go uh, global link, you can see that it is a global link settings window. The what uh, These windows look similar, but they are just a little bit different. Um, but you can see that there's no remove conflict in, uh, on this window. So let's go back to the link to controller. And you can see that this one is the remote control settings window. So there's two main differences. One is the internal controller option as well as remove conflicts. All right, so here is FL keys. If we want to route, let's say, overdrive to our knob, let's just do this, okay? So you can see overdrive is moving. Now let's say we want to move LFO off of the same knob. If we were to right click and go link to controller and move the knob, you're going to see that it works. And you're like, whoa. But so all I did is just go link to controller and you can see that remove conflicts is off. All right, if I have remove conflicts enabled and I move the slider or the knob now, you can see that it only does one. So essentially all you have to do is you just go remove conflicts. You just disable that. And then now you can you can move two at once, okay? Now, one thing to understand is that this is only for this particular project. So you'd have to set this up on every new project or you could just save a template and then um, this one knob would only work for this, but you have to understand that this is a project link and you would not be allowed to use this knob for anything else. As you can see, if I click away, it's still working in there. But watch if I open up um, a, a different plugin. Okay, so don't worry if it's a third party plugin. It's just, I'm just showing that I already have this set up and mapped. So you can see that right here, it's blue and you can see that the attack is moving. And blue means a global link, which means that the actual plugin window has to be focused in order to use this knob. If I click into the mixer now, watch this, you can see that, or actually I'll put it up here so you can see it. So um, if I click into the mixer, so again, look up here, it's blue. If I click into the mixer, it is now green. Okay, so that means that this knob is recognized by FL Studio, which is good, but it is not assigned to anything. So that's green. And you can see there's a question mark on there. If I click on the Pro C2, you can see that we have a blue knob. It also has a check mark on it. And this is a global link. If I click into FL Keys, you can see that it goes green now and it's no longer moving in Pro C2. So this is what's called a global link. Now, like I said, if we set up this knob here, to slot, um, the one knob is controlling two parameters. It is orange. It is a project link. Watch, if I go into the Pro C2, you can see it's still working. If I go to the mixer, it's still working. So we cannot use this knob for anything else. For example, let's say I go into, uh, let's say the EQ here, and you can see I can move up and down, right? And you can see it's blue. So this one right here is doing up and down on this band. I come here, you can see it's doing the ratio, but it's no longer doing the EQ, okay? I'll move the EQ down. If I move this knob, you can see that, look, it's still moving those knobs. And that's because it's a project link, okay? So what I just wanna quickly share with you is a way to set up multiple knobs is uh, while using global links is you can actually set up the control surface and we can use an internal controller. So I'll just share that with you quickly. So in the plugin database, you can see that I'm just gonna go install effects and then fruity. Again, in, in the installed is where we are pulling our plugins from, and then we can organize them in the plugin database. If you would like to learn how to set up and organize your plugin database, check out my tutorial. I will also leave that link in the description. For example, you can just see like my instruments, very, very organized. I don't use tons, okay? Don't get tricked out there. 
I organize this for only the things that I use and it makes my workflow so fast in FL Studio. As you can see, here's like delays, distortions, compression. So I've organized my um, plugin database to allow me to have a better workflow. So in this case, I don't have the control surface set up in my other stuff because I don't use it very often. However, FL Studio has it right here if I need it. And let's just drag it in here, okay? And so how this works is we can create a knob. So I'll just go plus and we can go like knob or slider. You can do knob or slider. And I'm just going to go like green. So you can right click the knob. You can go styles and you can just right click and you can select one that you like. So I'm just going to resize this, make it big. I'm going to click the wrench here. And so watch if I right click this, we can go global link. So we can assign this as a link. Okay. So watch this. I'm going to come here. And so right now you can see I'm moving this knob but it's not allowing me to set it up as a global link. And that is because up here, you can see that I have a project link set up already. And so let's just close out of this, let's close out of this. And so our project link, what we did is it is this, because a project link, how it works is a project link is, is only for this project and it overwrites, like it, like it takes precedence over a global link. So for example, if I open up um, Proc2, you can see that if I move the threshold, well, it should be doing the threshold because this one's the ratio. This one is the attack. This one is the release. Okay. This one should be doing the threshold for that fast workflow. If I right click it, you can see that it is assigned as a global link. And if I move this, it's not working, but you can see when I move it, it's moving these two knobs. So let's remove those. And again, you can right click and you can go a uh, link to controller. You can see it's check mark. You could do it this way and you can just go reset. Um, or you can click the multi-link to controllers. You can move both those knobs and a right click, go link to controllers. And then now you can just reset, accept it, and then reset and accept. And then now this, as you can see, it's now green, which means that it's no longer assigned. And so what we can do is we can come here to that control surface, all right? We have this knob. You can right click and you can make this a global link. And then what happens is inside the actual plugin, you can right click uh, any knob you want, we can go link to controller. And now you can see we have an internal controller, which is this surface knob, okay, knob one. So let's come here and let's see if we can give this a different name. Uh, click this, click the wrench, right click, rename, tutorial knob, okay? That way it'll look nice and clean, that we can really, really see what it is. So we're gonna come here to link to controller. Look, there it is, tutorial knob. So we're gonna go accept, okay? Let's enable remove conflict on. on. I'm going to right click, go link to controller. Let's see if we'll select the tutorial knob. So you can see that it is a conflict. So you would still have to remove the conflict. But the benefit of doing it this way, if you would like to do it this way, is you can still focus on this. Um, first of all, I have to actually route it to a global link. Okay, so I'm just going to move this knob. So you can see it's moving just like this. If I open up um, FL keys. So again, if I focus FL keys, it's not working. We'd actually have to focus into the control surface, but you can see that we can set up one knob to control multiple parameters, which means we can still, I can still use this knob and do my threshold. I can still get hands on mixing, right? If I come to the control surface, the one knob can do multiple parameters. If you want to get really creative, we can also right click this, go link to controller. And this is the LFO knob right? You can go to the mapping formula, you can invert it. And so watch when I move this knob, again, I have, if I'm focused on the FL keys, because it's not assigned as a project link on the actual knob from this knob, it's assigned from the control surface, right? And you can see that if I increase it, they go opposite directions, okay? So um, that is how you can route multiple parameters to one knob or one slider. And if you guys got any questions, feel free to leave um, a comment below. If you guys would like to uh, learn FL Studio, check out my website. It's gratuitous.com. And don't forget to check out my podcast. It's called Music Production Made Simple. Thanks for watching the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next FL Studio tutorial.